In these videos, we talk a lot about using your eyes, scanning forward to get a good picture of what's happening up ahead, and regularly checking your mirrors so you know what's going on behind you. But it's important to realize that your mirrors don't give you the full picture. There are big areas around your car that you can't see by looking through your windscreen or by checking in your mirrors. These are blind spots. Let me show you. Now, looking straight ahead, obviously I'm clearly visible to you. But as I move around this way, can you still see me in your peripheral vision? Yep. Let me know when you can't see me anymore. Now. I'm in her right hand blind spot. She can't see me looking forward and she can't see me in her mirrors. Until I move right over to... Now. Here. Then she can see me in her mirrors until I move right over, all the way over to here. Uh, now. And I'm in her left hand blind spot. Even experienced drivers are often surprised by how big blind spots can actually be. A car can sit alongside you in one easily. A motorbike or bicycle can vanish into them. Be aware, depending on the size and shape of your vehicle, there may be other blind spots you need to look out for, particularly behind you. Fortunately, blind spots have an instant cure. The shoulder check. Not looking right back, but just past 90 degrees. Turn your head, not your whole body. See me now? Yep. The classic blind spot hazard is when you want to change lanes on a motorway. You've looked in your mirror and there seems to be no one behind you, but unless you do a shoulder check, you might miss the car that is right beside you and slightly behind. Is there anything to your right? Uh, no. Would you like to just have a check over your shoulder? Oh, there's a car right there. There's a car <laughs> right there. This is why we do shoulder checks. Oh, wow. he's Once you're aware of blind spots, be aware of not staying in other people's blind spots if you can avoid it. Either go ahead of them or drop back. Another blind spot hot spot is when you're backing out of a driveway. Before you get in the car, check the driveway for obstructions and make sure no children or pets can get behind the car while you're reversing. As you come out of the driveway, it's not enough to check your mirrors. You have to be shoulder checking all the time to make sure it is safe to come out onto the road. There is no way to eliminate the need for shoulder checking, but you can help minimize the extent of your blind spot by making sure your side mirrors in particular are properly adjusted. Turn them out so that your own car is just out of sight. That way, you're seeing the widest possible angle off to each side. 